Hi everyone and welcome to Triple M Adventures with Bill. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to my channel and possibly becoming a patron. As you can see, I'm not in my studio at the moment, uh, back at my own house. I'm actually in Port Owen on the Western Cape and uh, I've come here for a couple of weeks. So I'm, you know, my background doesn't look like what it normally does. But anyway, here we go. This video was prompted by a subscriber who wanted to know how to send back the battery voltage to the OpenTX radio so it can be displayed on the radio. But they wanted to be able to use two different types of batteries, so a four and a six cell. So I've come up with a simple way of doing this using logical switches. But the person in the end came back to me, the subscriber came back to me and said they figured a way of doing it when it was completely automatic. Now, I am going to show you the method that I came up with, which is a, a simple method. And then when I get back to my own studio, um, I will have a look at this the way they did it and see how they did it and check it and then I'll report it back to you and give credit to that person. Um, I don't like to put out videos where I haven't checked that it actually works what I'm saying on an aeroplane. So, and because I do not have that aeroplane with me where I've got a receiver that can send back the voltage, I, I can't test it here. So I'm, get, I'm showing you how to do this because I, I know it will work this way. But using the other method, I'll wait until I get back to my own office and then I can, I can test it. So anyway, let's have a look at Companion. I'm going to open up the model that I've set up to show you this. First thing we need to go to is logical switches. So you can see I've set two logical switches up here so that we can put a 4S battery and a 6S battery and get the voltage back uh, to our radio. But with the way I've set this up, you're going to have to switch to which version you're going to use. But I've put, built some safety into this. But let's, anyway, let's do the logical switches first. So in logical switch 1, we've got A is smaller than X, where the telemetry for the battery voltage, in my case, is A2. And then I've set the voltage up at 15.2 15, 15 for the 4 cell. Now you can, I normally set it up for 3.8 volts. And then I can, now I can fly a little bit longer and, and uh, land safely. But you can choose, you could put, you could put 3.2 if you wanted to, but I wouldn't recommend that. Then I only want this to be active when the switch, arm switch is in, in the armed position. And then you can see I put a 0.5 second delay, just in case you punch out and then, um, the voltage drops but comes back again. Then we need an AND line which is logical switch 2 and you can see that is where V1 is logical switch 1 and the switch now needs to be in the S uh, switch C needs to be in the middle position for this to work. So both those things would have to be on to be able to work. So you, if one of those wasn't then the switch wouldn't be on. Then we go to the second one. Now this is the same as the top, but we're setting up now for a different voltage at 22.8 volts. This is for a 6 volt, if you decide to put a 6 volt battery onto your, to your plane or whatever. I mean, with quadcopters, you would use the OSD to do this, but primarily this would be for aeroplanes. But you may want to put a bigger battery in, into the aircraft, if it's possible. So you can see 22.8 volts. Again, the switch has to be on for this to be active and the delay of 0.5 of a second. Then the AND, logical switch 3, and the SC now has to be in the back position. So with the SC switch in the forward position, it's going to be, it would cause you a problem because you're not going to get the telemetry back to your radio. Now, how I've overcome that is if we go to special functions, you can see I've said logical switch 2 and 4, um, I've set it up to say Flight battery low. so in both of those logical switches uh, are active you will get that warning and I've put a five second delay so it will repeat it then what I wanted to do is because I'm using a three position switch I needed to make sure that when it was in the neutral position forward so when you turn your radio on it would say an error if it wasn't it's going to say this select battery voltage warning so if you power up your radio and then start to fly and do not select the switch in the middle position or back position, you're going to keep getting that and warning your every five seconds. Then when the switch SC is in the middle position, it's going to play this track just once. Four cell. 
So it's told, told you 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 fly with it. Your so you've selected full cell battery, and then when the switch SC is in the back position, six cell. And there we go. So I've covered all the bases here. And there we go. That's my method of doing it. It will be interesting to test out the method the subscriber came up with, which looks quite interesting. But we will put, I'll put that video out in a later date. If you found this video interesting, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments section below because I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now.